Ta-da! Welcome. Um, welcome guys, we're here with another workout for you for today. So today, uh, right, we've got a nice long chipper for you. What we have for you guys is 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Starting with air squats. We've got a pike push-up in there, blowing up those triceps. And then we've got an isolation movement with a tricep dip off a bench or off a stool, whatever. Or, and to finish off, we've got V-ups, right? Um, before I take you through all those movements, uh, I'll, I'll run you through a quick warm-up and then we'll get straight into explaining the movements, right? So for our warm-up, guys, we've got a five-minute AMRAP, right? Remember, we're just getting the body warm. No need to go like a bat out of hell, hitting this with everything. Just get all the pieces to that machine moving and um, make sure your body's warm. So the first thing we're going to do is a 100-meter jog. Coming back through the door, we're going to go 10 alternating groiners. So with the groiners, guys, you need to take a nice long stride forward, place both hands on the ground and we're looking at getting a stretch right in that groin area and then we're going to alternate legs like so. Keeping that nice, keeping that shin vertical at a 90 degree angle, all the pressure should be through your groin, getting that nice stretch, right? Going to alternate for 10 and then we've got 5 inch rooms with the stretch, so we're stretching the core. So feet should be just outside shoulder width, we're going to place the hands on the ground walking out till we've got our shoulders stacked over our hands. From here guys, we can go for that downward dog position where the head goes down. We've got a nice stretch in the core. Looking, looking up to the roof. Oh, my core's stretching right now, yeah. We can pipe the butt back in the air. Walk back to full lockout. And then walk out. Um, rinse and repeat, like start, start the rip again. And then we've got six boot scrapers, right? What are these? These are like the, the movement Josh likes to see everyone do how people pick up money in a stripping club, right? Feet need to be shoulder width apart. You need to grab your feet with your hands. Elbows should be inside your knees. And we're just gonna bend at the knees and drop the butt down. Putting pressure on your knees outwards with your elbows. You're gonna bring the butt back up and then you bring it back down. Should get a really good stretch through the groin. We've had a lot of leg movements and squatting lately, so it's a good idea to um, prepare the old hips for what's coming. So, um, remember guys, five minute AMRAP, easy pace, um, set yourself up for success. Let's go over the movements for this workout, right? So with the air squats, dudes, <coughs> we need to make sure feet shoulder width apart, pointing those feet out about 30 degrees, no more than that. Um, slight bend in the knee, keeping that chest upright. Remember, you can throw your hands out to sort of assist you in counterbalancing that weight. And all we're gonna do is Send the pelvis back, sit down, all the way down to the hip crease goes below the knee, and then we're standing back up, full hip lockout, right? So, the next movement, we've got a pike push-up. So, we're gonna get into the normal push-up position. We're just gonna slide the hands closer to the feet so that our body's in that, like a house position. Hello. So I'll show you what I mean. We're in this normal push-up position. We're gonna bring our back, slide our hands back to the feet, tuck the chin in, Top of the head touches the ground, and then we're pushing back up to the arms for full lockout. So a couple of those guys, we need to make sure that we maintain that, that pike position, nice tight core, and it's really gonna blow those triceps up, making sure that the top of the head touches the ground, not the front of your chin or the front of your mouth or any other part of your body. Uh -huh. Dudes, and the last, sorry, the next movement, we've got a tricep dip, right? Now you can grab a chair, lying around the house if you want to, we just need to make sure that the butt is as close to the chair as possible. We're going to bring it down to about, not to, to about 90 degrees in your elbows. Now you can slide your feet out to make this a little bit harder. And we need to push, push up until we get a full lockout at the top, right? Like I said, if, it, if having your feet out there is too much, you can sort of just bend your knees and that'll assist you a little bit more with that dip. And then the last movement, guys, we've got V-ups. So all it is, guys, is we're flat and our hands need to meet our feet in that V position, right? So lying on the ground like so. Hands need to be flat overhead. All we're gonna do is explode. Hands and feet meet at the top and making sure that we're tight in the core, right? Really important that we create that V shape with the hands and the feet. Um, if that's too much for you, we can have the knees bent in this sort of position, hands straight forward and just a nice crunch with the core. Um, enjoy this one, guys. Hit it as hard as you can. Remember, we're chipping away at reps. 
dropping in 10 each round. Um, enjoy it, man. Hopefully, stay healthy, wear your masks. We'll see you next time.